Craig, the stock market is at record highs. House prices are climbing higher and higher. This really looks to be a boom. So are we at risk of being in a bubble or is this just a rebound from last year's lows? I suppose there's always risk. There's always risk that uh, this could be just more than a rebound. It could turn into an economic boom. And um, when hear, people hear the term economic boom, they're a little bit uh, afraid of that, that term because generally what happens after a boom is, you know, so you have a bust. But we think it's merely a response to the extraordinary stimulus that we've seen, yes, you know, that applied by uh, central banks around the globe as well as governments around, around the globe. And really it has been a shotgun approach, you know, sort of you've got all sorts of stimulus, lower interest rates, uh, assistance to uh, people directly, uh, assistance to, to businesses. Uh, so uh, we see this as more a rebound rather than anything else. But there's always the risk of policy mistakes. And that's why we've got to always be alert in these sorts of uh, situations. Uh, certainly, if we think about the last economic boom that we had in Australia, you'd have to go back to 1988. And that was really after the October 87 share market crash, so a very significant crash in terms of the share market. And at that time, there was concerns that the uh, Australian economy, uh, sort of, as, well, as well as the global economy, could go under because of the very significant uh, crash that we saw on, on the share market. But uh, what, what happened was um, a significant amount of stimulus was applied by central banks and governments. And uh, lo and behold, the um, uh, share market uh, didn't cr crash at all. Yes, you know, so we'll continue to, to, to fall. And the, uh, the economy didn't uh, crash. What we had is actually a boom happening in terms of home prices. Um, and uh, if what, what we saw is extraordinary as a period of time of conspicuous consumption, yes, it as well. So uh, that um, really drove um, up inflation, drove up economic growth. And then we did have a, the situation where central banks had to come down harder on the, um, the economy and uh, constrain the yes, growth of the economy. And we did have that um, recession of the, the 1991 yes, the recession. So uh, stranger things have happened yes, sort of, um, in terms of uh, economics over time. So we can't rule out a boom bust situation, but we believe it's more likely the fact of an economic rebound for, from the, the, the lows. Uh, and um, uh, central banks and governments would be well aware of you know, so what happened in terms of the past and they can learn from that experience. Craig, when economic conditions look good, higher interest rates do start to look like a possibility. Are you concerned about inflation and what are the preconditions for rates going up? Well, this is the, the preeminent concern that we have uh, at the moment what's happening in terms of inflation. Now, we see it as more a rebound for, from the lows yet, yet, yet again. Uh, we see it more a consequence of what's happening in, in terms of COVID, uh, where it's restricting you know, sort of people to go out there and uh, manufacture work in their workplaces. And we're seeing you know, sort of the extraordinary rise in things like uh, auto prices, uh, used car prices, new car, new car prices, because the inability of the supply to be able to meet demand, particularly as to the problems in terms of computer chips. And uh, we see also the significant rise in price in terms of domestic holiday accommodation. That's because people can't tra travel overseas. But as um, the, uh, the economy starts to open up, I think you know, so what we're going to see is supply rising to meet that higher demand, and it won't be the same sort of concern. Uh, we've got to remember before interest rates rise in Australia, there's three set preconditions. One is in terms of inflation. The Reserve Bank wants to see inflation sustainably between 2 and 3%. Inflation's at the moment at 1.1%, so it's well below where the, the Reserve Bank wants it. The second thing is in terms of wages. The Reserve Bank would like to see 3% growth in wages. It's sitting at 1.5% at the moment, so still a long time off in terms of... Um, wages to get up to, to that goal. And the other thing is in terms of the unemployment rate, the current unemployment rate is at 5.5%, where the, uh, the government, as well as the, the Reserve Bank, would like to see unemployment. They would like to see that down to as low as 4%. So there are the three preconditions before interest rates rise. And that's why a lot of the commentators say, look, interest rates you know, sort of increases are a long way off. But those are the three things that we need to watch very, very carefully. We start to see those coming uh, realised then we know that we're drawing closer to a higher interest rate. So when the interest rates will start to rise, it will cause some volatility in terms of the share market.